Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will continue with our paper, biology paper 2, 2022. Internal. I, in the previous video, we did question one, so we are going to start from question two. So the question states, figure 2.1 shows a table of substances absorbed by plants from the soil. A table of substances absorbed by plants plants from the soil. So this is the table. We have oxygen, nitrate, potassium, and water. From figure 2.1, identify the substances which enter the plant by, number one, we have osmosis, active transport, and diffusion. So, uh, the substance that enter the plant by osmosis, we can we can say that water enters the plant through osmosis. You know what osmosis is, right? Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration across a selectively permeable membrane. So um, the substance which enter the plant by osmosis is water, H2O. Then uh, we need to identify the substance that, that enter the plant by active transport. So active transport, what is active transport? Active transport is the movement of molecules from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration against the concentration gradient using energy, using energy. So um, the substance that enter the plant by active transport, it is nitrate and potassium because nitrate and potassium enter the plant through active transport then we are remaining with diffusion diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration then the substance which enter enters the plant by diffusion is oxygen oxygen enters the plant through diffusion that's for our this part but A, we can go to part B. So part B states that part B states that figure figure two point two is a graph. Figure two point two is a graph showing the effect of pH on the rate of enzyme controlled reaction N and uh, O. So we have N, N and O, two reactions. What term is given to the parts labeled X and Y in the graph? What term is given to the parts labeled X and Y to the graph? So this part x and the y these are optimum temperature you can just say that it's it is the term is optimum temperature optimum temperature is the temperature at which a process of reaction is most efficient but in terms of enzymes you can just simply say that um optimum temperature is the temperature where enzymes works best when where enzymes works best. Then let's go to B2. Which reaction is under acidic condition? Which reaction is under acidic condition? So we have uh, this to N and O reaction. So N, N is under acidic condition. N is under acidic condition because if you look at um, the pH so from here one up to somewhere there 13 this is this is kind of 
acid, 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 then uh, base 14 going 14, 15, 15, 20 there, it's base alkaline temperature. So N is acidic. N is acidic condition. Let me erase this. Okay. So N is acidic. Question three, which reaction would only be for a protein food? Give a reason for your answer. So reaction reaction N reaction N can only be for a protein because um protein they they work best in acidic environment. Example given in the stomach. The temperature of the stomach or the environment itself it's acidic. That's why a pepsin can can work well. So proteins, they are the digestion of proteins occurs in acidic environment. The last question, but see, explain the the role of enzymes in metabolism the role of enzymes in metabolism. Enzymes are proteins that catalyze chemical reactions in the body. They play a critical role in metabolism by speeding up chemical reactions that would otherwise occur too slowly. To sustain life, enzymes are involved in many metabolic pathways, including the breakdown of carbohydrates and fats for energy, the synthesis of proteins and nucleic acid and the breakdown of toxin and other harmful substances. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section.